Penn State will wear white. Stanford in Cardinal with the black shorts. Penn State will serve first, and Bonnie Bremner starts out serving. Set left right off the bat, and the first ball is hit straight down by number 15, Logan Tom. These two teams quite possibly could neutralize each other with a potent offense and defense. Left side, ball is blocked, slam deep. And the put away. Leach one to nothing. Kagawa, back set, here comes Tom, and Levy stuffs it. I think most very good defensive teams. Here comes Lindsay Yamasaki. She's dug. Bremner, back set. Here comes Schumacher, and she rails it. Schumacher with her second kill. She's a sophomore from Chicago. Schumacher serves 5-0 as Penn State is off to a terrific start. Kachimani jamming deep. There's Logan Tom. Back set. Walsh rejected. Heating pad or some kind of medicine. Uh, I talked to her yesterday. Her shoulder very slow after all, very sore after all the swing she took against Long Beach. Didn't swing at all in practice. Yamasaki dug. Bremner tries to jam. She can't. Bremner set left. Here's Schoenveld, who was outstanding in the semi. I talked to Bonnie Bremner right before the match, and she said, hey, I'm going to go to Shoney as often as I can. I know she'll produce. In the hotel room, did not practice at all today. Didn't think she was even going to be able to play. Bremner back to Kachiamani, and Tom stuffs her. With Don Shaw forced to do some coaching, some real coaching in game one as his team trailing. The 10th hitting error for Stanford. As Penn State really putting on the pressure. And Penn State really confused on that one as Walsh delivers. Levy will serve, 8-1 Penn State, early in game one. Here comes Yamasaki, Levy dug it. Schumacher, off speed, nice dig, back set. Here comes Conrad, and Conrad puts it away. Been playing, we'll see how she responds here. 10-1, game one. Glad you're with us on ESPN2. Calma Miller with a dig, out of the back line, double contact. Wow. Our first referee tonight is Joan Powell. Our umpire is Ann Pafal. Joan is normally a very liberal referee. You really have to chuck it loose. It's Penn State jumping on favored Stanford early. Whitney Lyons getting out seven to nothing. Make it eight to nothing. Hello. The outside hitters hit above 500. Stanford in its best rotation. They set Levy, and Levy hits it off the head of Walsh. So two times, Stanford has gotten into their power rotation with Kagawa serving and the big people up front, and no points allowed. Kerry Schoenfeld serving. Kagawa back set. Ooh, and a little tunder down the line by Tara Conrad. Sets a nice balloon up there for her to attack. 10-1. Penn State's passing has been immaculate so far. Ball poked up. That's good. Left side. Stanford can get a point. No! Mishka Levy. You know, there are some that say that Mishka Levy is a better blocker than Warren Kachiamani. Levy with three blocks so far. They'll set Walsh on the left. And Walsh pounds it down the line. Kerry Walsh getting a lot of action. Walsh with six kills, but she's hitting just .083. And look at the Nittany Lions out blocking Stanford by five. This is going to be a black a blocking duel. Stanford fifth in the nation in blocks per game. Penn State six. Kagawa tries to tip. It's rejected. 14 to two. First game point. Logan Tom hit it out, and that is going to do it. If it means better production in December, and that's exactly what's happened. Here comes Walsh. Nice dig by Bremner. Schumacher sets left. Oh, and double contact double call. Contact. By our first referee, Joan Orr. Penn State game two. Nittany Lions won the opener. 15 to two. Kachiamani puts a little blast to it. The Big Ten's leading hitter. She was sixth in the nation during the regular season. And this has been potent all season long. Takes an approach just as she would. Set to serve. And there's a block. Tell you what, Schumacher has to fake a little bit. She and Kachimani and the way that she's blocking next to her setter. Watch Kachimani just reach over and help out Bonnie Bremner against Tom. 6-5. Set left, here comes Tom, and she drills it. And that's what Tom... Bremner slaps it. Yamasaki goes and gets it. And nobody helps her out. 
An extremely way of Schoenfeld with her fourth kill. Zero hitting errors so far, hitting 50%. And now a little mix-up matchup blocking Schoenfeld this time, going up against Yamasaki, leaving Bremner on the left side. They maybe created a little bit too much the last two years. Tonight, very relaxed. Bremner sets left. Down the line goes Amanda Rome. So Amanda Rome, the sophomore from Chaska, Minnesota. Lions top defender. Penn State on a 3-0 run at Pennsylvania. Not a great server, but a tremendous digger. Set left, here comes Tom, and Tom says, see ya. In their best server. Watch the hustle by Jamie Gregory. What I talked about was go and then decide. She goes and goes straight in to the stool on the sideline. So here we go, critical point. The match, Kachimani takes a rip at it. Stanford can get point number 10 right here. Not yet, ball poked up. That's good. Here comes Yamasaki, and Yamasaki nails it. Like nailing an outside jumper, she puts it into the corner. 13-10, the crowd. Negative, but much better here in game two. Schumacher comes back in. Nice up. Stanford goes and gets it. Out of the back line, Gregory looking for a kill. No! Kachiamani. What a play by Kachiamani. Hacking errors from the backcourt. 29th hitting error. Into the middle, here comes Sandrick, and she is rejected. Levy gets right. Five stuff blocks for Mishka Levy, and it's 14 to 10. First game point. Set left, here comes Walls, and she hit it out. And that will do it for game two. His lineup just a bit, starting with Jen Detmer in the right front. Here's Levy, and Levy hammers it straight down. Yeah, Michigan Levy. Levy. Hasn't been the offensive force throughout this match. That's just her second kill, but she's not getting fed a lot. She's made no errors, hitting 67%. This time, Bonnie moves her away from the block. I like the movement along the net that we're seeing from Penn State. Trying to dump it down. Was Kagawa. Set left, here comes Tom. Nice up by Gregory. Back set, here comes Conrad, and Conrad puts it away. Levy fell down. A nice redirection that time by the setter, Lindsay Kagawa. Right, Bonnie and Julie's mom, Joy Dooley. The dock, two to nothing Penn State. Here comes Walsh. She hits it straight down, but out of bounds. And Team and Blue. Not suggesting that Kagawa's the entire fault, but when everything is going bad, you sometimes have to change the setter, you know that. It worked for Pacific in the semifinals. Stanford's going to win its fifth NCAA title. They're going to have to stage the greatest comeback in NCAA women's volleyball history. With a look that says it all, good pass by Walsh. Out of the back line, here comes Tom, dug up, and it's going out of bounds. Logan Tom. There's Donchok calling the blocking signals. That's a switch. Kagawa out on the right, Walsh on the left, but still doesn't stop Kachiamani. The best set of the tournament for number three, Bonnie Bremner. Pretty good pass, Bremner. Ball popped up by Levy. Scooping it left side, and wisely keeping it in play. Tom, perfect pass, set left, here comes Yamasaki, and she drills it. Whether or not she'll continue to play both sports. Here comes Kachiamani coming around the horn, pretty good dig there. Kagao out of the back line, Schoenfeld with a dig. Bremner, Kachiamani puts it away. Well, that's what they did against Pacific. The hammer out of the back row, whether it's Elsa Stegman or Logan Tom, they are digging and turning them into points. Ball dug, chance for a point into the middle. Kachiamani, Bremner knows it now. Bremner starting to feel it, and she's feeding her big gun. Sarah Clark is in, a local from Hawaii Prep High School. Good pass there. They'll set Schoenfeld, and Schoenfeld whacks it off the top of Lewis. Carrie Schoenfeld playing one of her best matches ever. She has nine kills. She's hitting 353, nine digs, and perfect passing. And Chris. In a good serving rotation. Back set, here comes Schumacher, and she is rejected by Logan Tom. Make it seven to five now. And that's Tom. Set left, here comes Rome, and Rome knuckleballs it out of bounds. So Penn State has had three hitting errors in this sequence and given up three points. Stanford pulls to within one, seven six. Robin Lewis continues to serve. Bremner back set, Schumacher one on one, and she pounds it. Heather, one of the keys to this. The home crowd, her dad here, a local player, local product. They set Tom. Chance for a point at 7 6. Back set, here comes Rome. Rome goes over the top. Left side, here comes Walsh. Off the net. Nice up by Rome. Robin Lewis is in. Nobody can get there. Off speed, here comes Bremner. 
Schumacher sets middle. Kachimani says, get out of the way, and she puts it home. You got it in, hoping for the comeback. Didn't work. You put your number one setter back in. And perhaps you bring Lewis in in the front court when Kagawa rotates into the front court to block a ball. I'll tell you, if Stanford doesn't get its side out game going, she won't get back to the front court. It's 10 to 6 now. Penn State ahead. Tom, good pass. Into the middle. Here comes Tom, and she buries it. Logan Tom. 10 serving 6. Passes off the net. Out of the middle. Here comes Tom. Ball dug by Schlattfeld. Scoop it up. Taking a whack at it was Kachiamani into the middle. And another ball hit out of bounds. Can you believe it? And Penn State gets to 11. What Four. Penn State's serving game has done so well is they're really attacking that 0-2 position. Schlattfeld trying to get it in. Passes off the net, set into the middle, wall, nobody up. Penn State discombobulated there. Yeah. I'm impressed, Bonnie Bremner just calling the setting signals, looked to see who was blocking and changed it up against Detmer. Rome gets the set and Walsh so stuffs her. Hot hitter. Yeah, Walsh is like a one and a half, as Al Michaels would say. Back set, here comes Walsh, they're riding her and Rome can't bring it up. Score remains 11 to seven. Stanford will get the ball. Kerry Walsh with two NCAA titles. Put her heart and soul into this season. Wants to finish on top. She needs to rally her team right now. Walsh jumper, no, into the top of the net. Red, and I think she's just put way too much pressure on herself tonight. Set left, ball's up in the air. Chance for a point, no. It's coming back over. Penn State's nervous. Bremner takes it on two. Penn State bumping into each other. It's coming back over the net. Bremner, who does she set? She goes to Schoenfeld. And Schoenfeld got a touch. Point, Penn State. 12 to 7. Now just three points away are the Nittany Lions out of the back row. Logan Tom sails it long. And Russ how, Rose's squad. How do you stay calm? Getting closer now. Russ as calm as he can be at the moment. Penn State serving in game three. The ball hit into the net. And Penn State has come to the break. The Penn State Nittany Lions serving their first match point for their first NCAA title ever. Yamasaki is back in. Kachiamani will serve it. Russ Rose trying to throw that monkey off his back. Good pass. Set Detmer. She hit it out. And the East has risen. Penn State wins its first NCAA title ever. Scores are 15-2, 15-10, and 15-7.